Welcome uh, Senator Granz and Congressman Zimmer, Congresswoman Lofgren, uh, Bonnie Campbell from the Justice Department. This has been a week in which our country is moving to combat crime and violence. Uh, a couple of days ago, we awarded uh, over 9,000 new police officers to some 2,500 communities. That brings us uh, to 43,000 police officers in 20 months along the road to our goal of 100,000. Uh, we're ahead of schedule and under budget. But today, the valiant presence of five American parents reminds us that this fight against crime is so much more a fight for peace and for safety for our people and especially for our children. Richard and Maureen Kanka, Patty Wetterling, Mark Klass, and John Walsh have suffered more than any parent should ever have to suffer. They have lived through the greatest pain a parent can know, a child brutally ripped from a parent's love. And somehow they found within themselves the strength to bear a further burden. They took up the parents' concerns for all children's safety <clears throat> and dedicated themselves to answering that concern. Each of you deserves the fullest measure of your country's thanks. Because of you, steps have already been taken to help families protect their children. Study after study has shown us that sex offenders commit crime after crime. So two years ago, we gave every state the power to notify communities about child sex offenders and violent sex offenders who move into their neighborhoods. We're fighting now to uphold these laws in courts all across the country, and we will fight to uphold them all the way to the Supreme Court. Today, we are taking the next step. From now on, every state in the country will be required by law to tell a community when a dangerous sexual predator enters its midst. We respect people's rights, but today America proclaims there is no greater right than a parent's right to raise a child in safety and love. Today, America warns, if you dare to prey on our children, the law will follow you wherever you go, state to state, town to town. Today, America circles the wagon around our children. Megan's law will protect tens of millions of families from the dread of what they do not know. It will give more peace of mind to our parents. To understand what this law really means, never forget its name. The name of a seven-year-old girl taken wrongly in the beginning of her life. The law that bears the name of one child is now for every child for every parent and every family. It is for Polly and Jacob and Adam, and above all, for Megan. I thank the Congress for passing it, 
I thank those who led the fight, and I thank these families more than anything else. God bless you all. First of all, I, I hope that uh, this law will be uh, upheld. If, if it is challenged, I believe it will be. And uh, before we uh, went forward with this, in consultation with the Congress, including the leaders of Congress who are here now, we did a great deal of legal research on it. And uh, we felt that we could defend it. And we felt that it was right. And. Uh, the Congress has done its job, and uh, now it is our job to get out there and, and defend this law. And we intend to do it if it's challenged. And uh, in the meanwhile, we intend to enforce it. Pennsylvania Avenue. Excuse me. Have you talked to Mrs. Porter? I have not because of yesterday I intend to call her as soon as this is over. But yesterday, uh, I uh, asked uh, the Secretary of Defense to determine the family's wishes, and they wanted a day alone, and I understood that. But I intend to speak with her this morning as soon as this is over. Mr. President, Pennsylvania Avenue has been closed for a year now, and it hasn't exactly become the urban park-like setting uh, that was planned uh, when it was closed, and it is frequently, in fact, cut off from tourist and pedestrian use. What would you like to see? Well, I would like, if, if it is the judgment of the Secret Service and uh, the other security people that we should keep it closed, I'd like to see it uh, fixed as it was intended in that plan that was developed uh, about uh, 30 years or so ago and turned into a, uh, a genuine park so it can be made available to all the many people who live in and around Washington and all those who come here to visit. It's, it's quite a nice uh, space, and uh, with a little investment, it can be made uh, I think quite attractive. Right now, the uh, the skateboarders uh, and the rollerbladers seem to like it, but I'd like to see it uh, made uh, more helpful to more people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, what can you tell us about? Nothing more. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 Okay.